why are you dragging me by my leg? <laughs> I'm gonna fall! Emmy, why? Why? Why, you little monkey? You little monkey? You such a little monkey! <laughs> Dribble. Oh, you're so cheeky. Where do you want to take me? Okay, you want me to sit with you? Is that it? You want me to sit with you? Okay. Fair enough. Right. So I really just wanted to show you right now, one, I don't know if I started the weekly vlog, if I haven't, and it's just been random clips then, hi, welcome to weekly vlog number seven, and two, I just really wanted to show you my makeup, um, I decided today, because I had a bit of time, um, to do a Hannah Marin from Pretty Little Liars, um, kind of style makeup, more the earlier side, so like, I think it's like season three that this is quite a big look for her um that she uses a lot um like smoking it out putting black underneath and smoking it out on top with long lashes and a nude lip um and i just really want to try it and i'm so so happy with how it's turned out um i don't know what the best light and the best light is probably this so if i show you i smoked it out use like a burnt orangey gold colour, um, bits of browns and I just kind of saw what happened as I went along with it and I'm just really happy with it and I just really wanted to share that. Um, yeah, there we go, that's basically all I wanted to say. Right, <clears throat> I just don't know how well you can see me right now um, but I'll place you there because I'm doing my makeup but I wanted to do a bit of an update. It's our Thursday, um, Amber is here, she came yesterday, um, we didn't vlog, um, I kind of wish I'd have vlogged last night actually, we went to see The Conjuring 2, um, we got out of the cinema so late, we got out of the cinema at like 1 o'clock, and got home at like 2, um, but yeah I'm now with Amber, she's just outside, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit today if I can. Um, I'm getting um, this, I don't know if it's TMI or what, but I'm gonna say it anyway because it's happening. I'm getting the implant today. Um, I have always been on the pill, but I've decided recently that I want the implant because it's just so much easier because I've already got to remember to take my tablets to help my anxiety and depression, and yeah, it's just so much easier. Um, Otherwise, I don't really know what's happening this week, and I'm going to bake with Ebby. But it's a bit warm outside. Is it? Oh. But, um, I don't really know. Um, I've also come to the sudden realisation that Ebony is going to be one and nine months in a few days, which is terrifying, and I don't know. It's just terrifying. I'm kind of scared for that, um, because she's nearly two years old, and... Uh, on my time hop today there was a video of her from when she was really little and all that has me on my personal Facebook will may have seen that I don't know if it shared I don't know if it, it didn't want to share earlier so I don't know if it shared um, and I look kind of crazy right now because I only have my base on I'm not done my eyebrows I'm not powdered um, so I look kind of scary but yeah I'm just watching Holly Swanson's vlog um, weekly vlog and sorting my makeup before I have to get Ebony ready, do her lunch and probably bake with her a little bit because she wants she's been asking yeah go for it um, she's been asking to do something she always asks in her little way to do something so hopefully we'll get something filmed tonight. We'll, we'll try and film something won't we we'll get something yeah, filmed we'll, we'll get some. there'll be something Not I shouldn't have shit content like I did last week hopefully oh. So I have just gotten my tea pigs order. I placed an order with tea pigs. 
um, because I've got two of the two of the teas that I've had from there have so been I've, I've absolutely loved. Um, I'm finally getting somewhere. I'm getting through all of these teas. Like these are the ones that I have at the minute. Um, I've got some twinings, cam watermelon, chamomile, and spiced apple, which I really like, especially in the evenings. Um, mango and strawberry, which I've not had in a while. I might have one of them in a few minutes, actually. Then I've got this cherry lips one that was a sample from Bluebird, and it's really nice. Um, then I've got this from um, a tea place that I got when I was pregnant. I don't really have it much, though. Um, then this from the Bluebird, which is Mint Jack Rubius. Then I've got this one. This is one of my favourite ones that I've just reordered. Um, the Creme Car Caramel Rubios. Then there's <clears throat> Chocolate Flake Tea. I'm not so keen on the Apple and Cinnamon. I love that one, but I've not ordered that this time. And I've also got um, Darjeeling Earl Grey to try as well. But what I got today was, well, they sent me a fennel and licorice um, taster one which I'm slightly anxious about trying because I'm not really that keen on licorice. So I'll see if I like that. Let's get all these out. Right, so I've got this one, <clears throat> which is one of my favourites from them. It's spiced winter red tea. And I know it's a winter one, but I just really like that one. And then I've got the Rubio's Creme Caramel. But I would definitely say that if you like teas, that it's worth going to tea pigs. It's not as cheap as like some of them, but it is definitely worth it. And the bags are also biodegradable and yeah, it's just a lot better for the environment that way too. So I don't know what the last clip I filmed is. Um, I haven't filmed really this week, well the past week. <sighs> It's around Monday, sorry, I'm tired and cold. Um I was just I ended up feeling really run down. Um and didn't really film much because I was so preoccup preoccupied. Um I don't think I'm gonna film all of today. The There's a couple of things I wanna to film today to put in the vlog to kind of pad it out because there's stuff I want to film anyway. Um, but I might have to wait till everyone needs to sleep. She's in bed, but I don't think she's going to sleep. I put her in bed because she was being moody and a little madam. So, but yes, I, for some reason, I'm really tired. Um, I did get the implant done. That's what my arm looks like. It's really bruised. Um, the, like, plaster, clear plaster cover-up thing came off. And it's just super bruised and sore. Well, it's not that sore. It's a bit sore if I catch it. But it's very, very bruised. But I bruise really badly and really easily. But yeah, there's a couple of things I want to film today. Um, like a whole kind of style thing with Bobby. And show what I got in my Grace box as well. And then after that, I think I will end the vlog. Sorry that it's been a bit of a flop. Um... It's just remembering to get my camera out sometimes and I'm just that preoccupied. So I'm going to be working on that for the next week. So we've just got back from Sainsbury's. It's now really sunny and nice and warm outside. But I'm overheating because I'm wearing all black leggings and a top and it's just too warm. Um, in Sainsbury's, because I know that Zoe has talked about it in her most recent vlog that I watched, um, she... I already knew about them as a biscuit, the Biscoff biscuits, um, is, yeah, the Lotus Biscoff bi biscuits, me and my mum already really like them, um, and you get them in this cafe that we go to, it's not very cheap, but it's a really lovely cafe, and I heard about the spread, um, and she made a cake with the spread, and while I was in Sainsbury's, they had the Crunchy Biscoff spread, I don't know if it's going to focus, there we go. And I just really wanted to get it and try it and see. So I'm doing that. I'm going to try that later on. I'm going to cook tea, which is carbonara. Um, then probably after tea, before I go to bed, I will do um, the book call and 
um, show you what I got in my grave box this week. So, I said I would film a haul, like a book haul, just before I finish up my vlog. I've just dyed my hair. My hair's molting a lot at the minute, like it has been the last few months. But I see my hairdresser Friday, so I'm going to talk to her about it then. Let me get the books down. All these books, apart from one, is from the WH Smith's um, book club um, that was run by Zoella, Zoe Sugg. Um, and it was like 30 something for six, six books. Pretty sure it's six books. We'll find out. I'm pretty sure. No, actually, eight books, actually. Like eight. Um, when it would, in, if it hadn't have been buying as this load, it would have been like 60, 70. Um, so it's definitely like a huge shaving. Um, I finished reading the Jenny Harm books that I was reading for a second time. I was reading them because I was waiting for this first book to come out. I pre-ordered it, um, it was like £6 something instead of £12.99, obviously it's a hardback, if I can get a hardback I'll get a hardback because I absolutely love hardbacks, um, and I've not quite started reading it, I mean starting reading it tonight or tomorrow or sometime this week when I can get some reading done, um, but this is Carrie Hope Fletcher's On The Other Side. A love story like no other and I'm just really happy it came to be honest I like the size what's really strange it's not that much wider it's about the same as like most standard hardbacks but it's really tall but I actually really like how big it is like, it's absolutely massive but I just really like that um, it's not very helpful for taking around places but I don't know. There's just something about that that, that I enjoy. Um, I absolutely love the like, cover and the design and the, the purples or like hol holographic. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it's holographic. And I just absolutely love it. It's really cute. Um, and the back's really cute as well. It has the blurbs and a little heart. Um, the inside is so cool, like the little illustrations and the keys, I've got her headshot on the back and I'm just really looking forward to reading this one and I can't wait to be honest, uh, that's enough rambling of that one. Now these were all from WH Smith's, um, something as well that was mentioned when Zoe did her video, I don't know if um, most likely, most, if not all, of the people that watch my videos will watch Zoe's. But I don't know if you will have seen her book club video. Because I didn't watch it till a lot later on. After it, like, had calmed down and everyone had stopped, like, ordering and like, from W.H. W. Smith. And after everyone was full blown into it. Um, but... The books actually have a different cover. There's like slight adjustments to the covers for like these limited edition covers for this actual thing. But these are the books. Um, first one I've picked up is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I'm going to say it's Yoon. I hope it's Yoon. I think it's Yoon. Um, and I've got to say... It's not a really thick book, which sometimes, in my case, is good. Um, and it would be a nice one to take on holiday, to take for a weekend away, if you're going away for a weekend somewhere that you have time to read. Um, if you've got a day off and you just fancy reading, I'm sure you could get through 
a decent amount if not all that I probably get like halfway maybe because I need to take a break after a while because then my head just just doesn't want to c carry on concentrating I'll read the blurb live life in a bubble or risk everything for love Maggie, Maddie is allergic to the world she hasn't left the house in 17 years Ollie's the boy next door he's determined to find out a way to reach her everything everything is about the crazy risks we take for love um, and I don't know this is I'm really looking forward to read this because it's such a different kind of setting it's not what the generic um, teen romance books would be um, but I'm definitely looking forward to read it and see what it is about and how good it is but I've heard some really good reviews about that one now this one I'm really looking forward to and also this one you could definitely get read in one sitting it's good for like a nice Sunday book to sit and read and get through and it just looks super cool this one is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart is that right? yeah E. Lockhart um, and I've got to say it does sound pretty cool and I think it's going to be one of those that will play on my mind for a while from what the blurb says so I will read you the blurb we are liars we are beautiful and privileged we are cracked and broken a tale of love and romance a tale of tragedy which are lies which is the truth you decide and that instantly made me think yeah I am definitely going to look forward to reading this and see what happens um I've got to say I, yeah I'm definitely excited to read that one this next one um I think Zoe said was one of her favorites I think don't hold me to that um but the, the cover's really cute it and I know a lot of people have read it and have heard so many good things. I've just not read it yet. Um, it is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Neven. Neven? Sorry if I'm wrong. Um, and the cover is really cute. And I just love like this kind of post-it notes. And yeah. Um, the blurb says. Theodore Finch wants to take his own life. I am broken and no one can fix it. Violet Markey is devastated by her sister's death. In that instant we were we went ploughing through the guardrail. My words died too. They met on the ledge of a school bell tower, and so their story begins. It's only that it's only together they can be themselves. I send a message to Violet. You are all the colours in one at, at full brightness. You are so weird, Finch, but it's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. But as Violet's world grows, Finch's begins to shrink. How far will Violet go to save the boy she has come to love? Um, and this is about, um, well, suicide, mental health, quite, quite strongly about as well. And I think this one will be a good one to read with having knowing people with mental health and all them kind of issues and having gone through some of it myself. Um, and it's a good hearty book. It's got a substantial amount of pages so it would be a f good one to just get to know, take your time to read. I really enjoy it. Um, this one is the one that is my like the, the cover is my favorite I absolutely love it it sorry it is beautiful broken things by Sarah Bernard and the cover is just so pretty the blue and the like what is gold and pink um 
um, for the birds and like there's hands, the little hands where the lines aren't and I just, I just really like it. It's really strange but I really like it. So the blurb on this says Caddy and Rosie have always been inseparable but that was before Suzanne. Now Caddy wants to be more than just the quiet one. She wants something to happen. I was brave. Suzanne was trying to escape her past and be someone different, someone free. She was reckless. But some sometimes downward spirals have a, have a momentum of their own. We were, tr we were trouble. And no one can break your heart like a best friend. And I've got to say that one looks really interesting. It's not something I would generally pick, but that is what's more interesting about it, I guess. Um, I'm going to hurry up and get through these because it's quite late. This one, I love the co oh, This is also my, one of my favourites out of the covers. This is The Sky Is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Um, and the blurb says, Lenny Walker, 17, Withering Heights Obsessed, clarinet player, band geek, also hopeless romantic, prone to scattering poems all over town and as of four weeks ago, sisterless. A heartbreaking, heartlifting, utterly compelling and completely unforgettable novel about first love and first loss. So that's going to be a very heavy read, I think. This one looks really cool. Um, it is... The Potion Diaries by Amy Allwood. Um, geez, the blurb on this one is really big. Right. Let's start. <laughs> when the Princess of Nova accidentally poisons herself with Love Potion, meant for her crush, she falls crown over heels in love with her own reflection. Oops. A nationwide, nationwide hunt is called to find the cure with com competitors travelling around the world for the rarest, rarest ingredients deep in magical forests and frozen what would be there? Tun 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 tundras? let's just carry on, I'm tired <laughs> facing death at every turn enter Samantha Kemi an ordinary girl, ordinary girl with an extra, extraordinary talent Sam's family were once the most respectful Respected oh, cat. I'll I'll with her. I can't read. I'm tired. I don't have my glasses on. Alchemists in the kingdom, but they've fallen on hard times, and winning the hunt will save their reputation. But can Sam really complete compete with the dazzling powers of the Zoroaster? Me can you stop, cat? Mega far, far, Mega Farmer Company. Yep, there we go. And just how close is she willing to get to Zane Aster, her dashing enemy? In the meantime, just just to add to the pressure, this quest is all over social media and the world news. No big deal then. This one sounds really different. Um, and it sounds like something I'd really enjoy because, like, it's kind of fairy tale esque, I guess, with a huge twist. And it's going to be quite cool to read, I think. And quite dramatic, I would say, from the sound of it. This one I already have. Um, I have all of her books so far, I think all of them. Um, I'm just saving up to read them on holiday, and once I have gotten through a couple books I'm just gonna throw one of her books in there every now and then to get through. So it's Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. I absolutely love G. Um, I watch her YouTube. Um I'm a huge fan of Tom's and of Tom's sisters Carrie and I just love it. Um the blurb on this is Sophie May has a secret. One that she successfully kept for years. It's meant that she has give, she had to give up her dreams of going to university and travelling the world to stay in her little village, living with her mum and working in the local tea shop. 
but then she meets the gorgeous Billy, an actor with um, with ambition, ambitions to make it to the top. And when they fall in love, Sophie is whisked away from the comfort of her life into Billy's glamorous, ruthless but ruthless world. Their relationship throws Sophie right into the spotlight after years of shying away from attention. Can she handle the constant scrutiny? Scrutiny. The, the constant scrutiny that comes with being with Billy and most of all is she ready for her secret heartbreak to be discovered and shared with the with the nation um, I've heard so many good things about this and it's definitely on my to read list I do already have this book um, but it's really fun to have kind of like one with a different colour cover and everything um, and now on to the last one. I've seen so many reviews. I've been told by so many people to reach the, read this. And I honestly can't wait to read this. It's Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And I've heard so much about this. I always see posts by it on Tumblr as well. And I'm just super excited to read this now. Um, right. Blurb says... Kath and Ren are identical twins, but until recently they So I don't know when it stopped filming. I think I got through all the books, hopefully. I'm just going to quickly show you what I have in my Grey's box. Because I'm so tired. So first of all, I've got the Cherry and Chocolate Pro Protein Yogurt Topper. Which looks really good. Um, then we have... Cocoa Paradise, which is Belgian chocolate, Belgian milk chocolate, coconut and cranberries. And this one, which I might be trying in a few minutes before bed, which is tomato dipinetti. Um, tangy tomato dip with tomato and oregano. Uh, oregano. Can't read that. Guisnetti. And then Thai Tom Yum which is like a paste and some dried veg um, basically that you make soup out of which I will definitely show you when I make because that uh, blew my mind when it came um, I didn't think that they had things like that but yes I will show you that when it comes and I'll let you know what I think of these as a whole um, so I'm ending this now and I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, comments, be nice, have a nice day and I will see you next week.